Now, what you've all been waiting for. It's the top 25 that actually makes sense right here at the Voice of College Football. Appreciate you stopping by. Please like the video and subscribe for the best in college football discussion, debate, and analysis. All right. If you are familiar, you know what to expect. If you are not familiar, this is not your typical ranking. This is actually based on the results on the field, period. Results and performance on the field. Think it through, folks. Results and performance. Take all the preseason perception out of it as much as we possibly can. Of course, there has to be a barometer of foundation of what we believe these teams to be to rate and evaluate these performances until we get more data points. But this is a ranking that is based strictly on resume. It's a resume ranking, and that resume is about results. Did you win or lose? Who did you play? What did your performance look like? Were you dominant or did you just squeeze by? So again, these are not the 25 best teams in the country. Let's get this straight because I'm going to get a ton of comments down below that are going to say, Mark, you really think that that team's better than that team? You're crazy. You're an idiot. It's not who I believe are the 25 best teams in the country. These are the 25 best wins because we're only through week one. And of course, there's a couple teams that did play in week zero. So it's basically a one game resume at this point. Therefore, we are basically looking at the 25 best wins in the country in week one. Now, before we get to the 25, let's uh, tell you who we considered. These teams were under consideration for dominant performances for the most part or defeating a decent team. Auburn, Tennessee, Missouri, they were among the SEC contingent that blew away FCS teams by a million points. You've got Illinois, Purdue, Northwestern with wins out of the Big Ten, including UCLA. Despite a close win against Hawaii, it was a FBS opponent. Northwestern beat a Miami team that was good last year out of the MAC. Out of the Big 12 with impressive wins, you got UCF, Utah, Kansas, Kansas State, and Baylor. Out of the ACC, Louisville won 62 to nothing. SMU came back from a Narrow win against Nevada to dominate on Saturday. You also, out of the group of five, had Tulane and Coastal Carolina with impressive performances. But they did not make the top 25 that actually makes sense. Here is our list. Arkansas 25, Ole Miss 24, Ohio State at 23. Number 22 is Nebraska. Number 21, Arizona State. Here's the top 20. Syracuse, Kentucky. Maryland at 18. Texas A&M at 17. Oh, Mark. Texas A&M lost. They can't be in the top 25. This is based on results. Yes, first and foremost, did you win? Did you lose? However, it's also based on performance and considering the opponent and the performance level. Texas A&M, of course, took Notre Dame down to the final minutes. TCU at number 16. Michigan 15. LSU's at number 14. Oklahoma 13. Texas 12. Bama at 11. Here's your top 10. Not the 10 best teams in the country, folks. Just the top 10 based on their current resume. UNLV at 10. North Carolina, 9. Boston College, 8. Number 7, Vandy. Number 6, Georgia Tech. Here's the top 5. Miami, Penn State, USC at 3. Notre Dame at 2. And the number 1 team in all of college football after that dominant, dominant second half against Clemson, the Georgia Bulldogs. It's the top 25 that actually makes sense. Leave those comments and questions down below.